What's up guys? I'm at Marina Bay Sands. Today we're going to talk about the BioPlay E6, new product from BNO. I'm wearing it here. And we're going to compare it to the Marshall Minor 2 Bluetooth earbuds. But first, we've got to find some place to sit down. It's so crowded today. At Marina Bay Sands, it's pretty tough to find a place to sit. Whoa, what is that? Oh my god! Whoa! Can you see it? Can you see that there's a silhouette of a Christmas tree right up in the chandelier? Definitely one of the coolest Christmas trees I've ever seen. I gotta do this very quickly because I'm at the food court. I wanna show you what's inside the box. Okay, first of all, the charging cable. But the charging cable is also the charging adapter. Okay, so this is a USB type A, and then you have the, the piece here which attaches to this part here to charge the earbuds. Also uses the same cloth braid as the earbuds. They come with stability fins now in three different sizes, small, medium, and large. The one attached to my earbud now is the large size. So in this packet, I have small and medium. This is what they look like. They fit around the entire earbud and this is the part that keeps the earbuds in place in your ear. Silicon tips. So these come in like four different sizes. Uh, extra small, small, medium and large. So the one I have attached here is medium sized. This one's fit the best. And if you need extra stability when you're working out, comply foam tips. So these ones are very popular for uh, workouts and gym use. Comes with a felt cloth bag. This is a drawstring pouch so you can tighten. Like that. And finally, some literature. So today I'm going to compare the $299 Bioplay E6 to the $130 Marshall Minor 2 Bluetooth earbuds. I'm going to refer to these earbuds quite a lot during a video. Let's start the comparison right now. Let's go. Okay, first of all, let's talk about some of the things that I like about this pair of earbuds. I like its build quality. Its build quality is you know, it's just as good as the Bioplay H5. It's got that, that uh, polymer chassis, the, the aluminium buttons, the fabric cord. So it's very different from the Marshall Minor 2 Bluetooth in that its build quality feels more premium. I also like its sound quality. Sound quality, without a doubt, I think the Bioplay E6 is one of the best sounding wireless earbuds I've tried so far. Assuming you put in the correct earbuds and the earbuds sit nicely and snugly in your ear, you're bound to get very uh, rich deep, bouncy bass, uh, a lot of gravitas in your music, and also very good uh, mid and high track separation. The only other earbud that I've tried recently that can beat it in terms of uh, bass performance is the Klipsch R5 wireless. Uh, that one is very bassy. The best thing that I feel Bioplay has done here, even in comparison with the Marshall Minor 2 Bluetooth, is the airiness, the sound staging. It's just so open sounding and you can even further tweak the sound to your own liking using the Bio Play app. And the treble as well, treble sounds very smooth. It's not exactly audiophile quality, smooth and wet, but it's smooth enough to be enjoyed and non-fatiguing. So that means even if you play your music uh, at very high volume levels, the treble won't become too shrill. It still maintains its smoothness and its clarity. But if I were to compare the E6 sound quality to the Marshall Minor 2 Bluetooth, I'd say that the E6 sounds a little cleaner and more open sounding than the Minor 2 Bluetooth. And one of the small complaints I had about the Minor 2 Bluetooth is that the, the buttons are located a little too high. So I had to like flex my arm in a weird angle to get at the controls. You won't get that problem here with the Bioplay E6 because the controls are sort of like here. So you don't have to lift up your your arms too high to access the volume and music controls. In terms of phone call quality, the Bioplay E6 has very good call quality. I had to raise the volume to about 75% before I could uh, hear the other side, but 
both sides, uh, the other party and myself, we could hear each other very well, even in a noisy place like this. So that's very good call quality indeed. I also like the fact that these are uh, proclaimed by BNO as water resistant, dust resistant. Uh, the only thing is that BNO didn't quite specify whether it was IPX5 or IPX4. But it doesn't matter because Marshall didn't specify either and I don't think the Marshalls are water resistant by any measure. So at least this one, BNO has said that this is safe to use in the gym and for workouts basically. Okay, now let's talk about some of the things that I don't like about the E6 and it's a pretty big deal, yeah? Okay, the first thing is that the earbuds cannot seem to stay in my ears. I believe that is the texture of the silicon ear tips is too smooth. It sort of slips out of my ears very easily even though I'm pretty sure I'm using the right size. I've already tried switching to other ear tip sizes like I've tried the small size the small size couldn't seem to... Yeah, you see, you see, this one is like falling out of my ears now. Yeah, this is medium size, by the way. Medium size. So I tried small size, doesn't work. Offers zero noise isolation. I tried the largest size, doesn't work as well. That one won't even go into my ear canal. But this one seems to work best for me. It's just that the, the silicon is too smooth. It easily slides out of my ear no matter what I do. And this heavily affected sound quality. I was not able to get any sort of bass from these because the ear tips kept falling out of my ears. Compare this to the Minor 2 Bluetooth. Yes, the Minor 2 Bluetooth does not offer any noise isolation at all, but at least they are designed to provide you with the, the full sound, the full uh, audio experience without noise isolation. So you still get bass, you still get mids, you still get treble, but in this case, doesn't work. So if you purchase this pair of earbuds and none of the silicon tips work for you, my best advice would be to just switch it up with the comply tips and hope for the best. I can't really cross my fingers. And hope for the best. Because the comply tips will at least offer some friction and stay in your ears better. I think in terms of silicon tips, Clips R5 Wireless uh, does a better job than the Bioplay E6 in my humble opinion. The second gripe I have has got to do with the stability fins. Yes, now they offer stability fins, but none of the fins except the largest one seems to work for me. Uh, it's just so, you know, it's it's like, it's not able to uh, hold the earbuds very well in my ear. It's too flexible this way, so it just keeps slipping out of my uh, ear cartilage. Of course, if you contrast that against the Minor 2 Bluetooth, the Minor 2 Bluetooth uses the wire as a sort of stability fit and it offers very stable fit as well you know you can you can lengthen the wire to form the fin as long as you want that would form a better contour against your gear cartilage as a result this fit is a lot more stable the jaybird style works as well make the fins extra big extra stiff you know at least it doesn't fall out of the ear so easily and the third gripe i have is its battery life i think it's five hour battery life is simply too short like seriously it's and you don't get any extra charges at all it's five hours and you have to recharge but like, okay the one thing that's cool about these is that you can charge them while you use them right but this means that you will have a long a long usb cable that goes from this charging port here this one all the way to your power bank not very ideal. I would prefer to have longer battery life period in these pair of earbuds. Of course, the Marshall Minor 2 has uh, a stated battery life of 14 hours, I think, but it's it usually lasts more than 10 hours. And that is long enough for me to use it all the way till I get home without charging. And these cost 299 bucks. You know, the Marshalls cost like what, 130 bucks. So obviously, Marshall's doing something right here. <laughs> I honestly expected that something that costs twice the price of the Minor 2 Bluetooth will bring me twice the enjoyment. But apparently, that's not the case. Ooh, Superheroes Cafe. This is Anne Hathaway's Catwoman. Okay, so here comes the question. Would I buy the Bioplay E6 or the minor to Bluetooth. Hmm, okay. If 
Viewplay E6 has got uh, some great things going for it, such as its design. I love its design, its physical uh, design and the materials used in this uh, pair of earbuds is awesome. You know, it's, it's what I would expect of BNO. Sound quality as well, it's great. It's got uh, very clean highs, great track separation, decent bass, and it's easily one of the best sounding wireless earbuds I've tried. It's also got, I don't think I mentioned this, but it's also got very minimal audio to video syncing. Like, there is still a little bit of lag because after all, this only has like, what, a, a Bluetooth 4.2 in it. It does not support aptX. Yeah, the best codec it supports is AAC. So even if you use an iPhone, there's bound to be some audio video lag, whereas the minor 2 Bluetooth uses Bluetooth 5. So there's gonna be a difference in terms of uh, the amount of lag you get when watching videos. But even if this has got great sound quality, I cannot accept the fact that it slips out of my ears so easily, no matter what uh, silicon ear tips I use. And whenever that happens, I don't get to enjoy that great sound quality at all. I can only hear like, you know, all the treble and you know very thin sounding mids, no bass at all. BNO, you have got to fix this. You have got to use uh, silicon tips that have a lot more friction and the stability fins as well. You got to improve on the design, man. It looks nice, but it just doesn't really work. My best bet would be to use comply tips at all times if you want to use this for sports. But you know, it's pretty well known that comply tips wear out over time. They flake and they disintegrate and stuff and you have to buy new ones. So yeah, the fit and stability, these are the major reasons why I personally find it difficult to recommend these pair of earbuds to everybody. Except for those of you who have always loved the BNO products for its, its build quality, its finish, its, uh, its sound quality as well. So yeah, you can try these pair of earbuds of course, but personally I would probably go for the a minor 2 Bluetooth because that one costs 130 bucks and it can give me so much more in terms of performance. Oh yeah, if you haven't watched my review video of the minor 2 Bluetooth yet, you can watch it right over here. But suffice to say that's my opinion of the Bioplay E6. I hope this video was helpful. But I want to know what you guys think. Minor 2 Bluetooth or Bioplay E6? Tell me in the comment section below. Tell me what you think. So guys, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and remember to ring the bell to join my notification squad because I upload videos every single week and this is the only way you'll get notified. My name is Aaron, you're watching Aaron's Lion Wireless and I'll see you again in the next one. Face pump. Out.